Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. This is part number 12 of my playthrough of Gloom of Killforth. And in this particular episode, we have a couple things that I want to clear up just before we move into our current day. All right, some of these things are just a heads up, other are minor rule tweaks in terms of how I interpreted versus how they truly are. And this is, again, due to some amazing feedback from you guys in the solo community. I absolutely appreciate everything coming back. Keep on firing those uh, comments in the videos. It's amazing. It's giving me a heads up on things I didn't even think of. Uh, and this game actually does have a lot of small quirks that are very, very easy to miss and have been missed in other playthroughs I've seen. In this particular video here, we're going to talk at the very beginning just about those things I just missed. Uh, so what we're going to talk about first is in terms of the spell card, the aid card. This is the one here we picked up charm. It's a spell, has a keyword uh, as well, spell and aid. Aid is the unique keyword. And I had a question at the end of the last video as to whether or not I'd have no problem putting it into my hand uh, in order, or as an asset, I should say, sorry, down on the table in play. And I wouldn't. Now, I was originally thinking having two spells would be an issue, but there is no issue. There's unique keywords between the two of kinetic and aid, so I'd have no issue putting it in besides a restriction of just six cards allowed in play at a time. So this would be fine. If I choose to do so, I can go to the Blessed Grove, which is happens to be where I am, and discover it. And if I go ahead and discover it at the Grove, then I can actually put it into play as an asset. So that's awesome. Uh, the second thing, after completing chapter 3, I was so obscenely excited uh, just to pass that chapter, I totally forgot to level myself. It was kind of embarrassing. So, of course, being that we are now into the next day, I have to go back here and give myself the 1 HP I would have gotten in the last video for going up to the next level. And, of course, when we're part of the daylight or break camp phase time frame of the video, you always get your AP that goes on top of it. So, this is currently what Vognus has to work with in terms of HP and AP. We are full strength. The next thing we're going to do is pull our skill card, which we have two cards for that we can choose from, both at level 3 as denoted in the top left corner. So we're going to flip these over and see what we got. This one here says Local Hero, and uh, it says Deed. Pay one gold to gain one fight until the end of the phase. Limit six times per day. That sounds awesome, and I'm liking this already. Why do I like this? Because I have an insane amount of influence. I'm okay at... Uh, study and had sneak, but my fighting has never really increased yet, and I haven't found a weapon to boost it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the card that I want to use, and we are going to run with it. So this particular card here is the one that I'm likely to use. Uh, or I should say I just wanted to run with this. I was so excited I didn't even look at the other one. Uh, this one's called uh, Preacher. Okay, interesting. It gives me a hero. It's a hero uh, influence plus one for each ally asset you have. Wow. That's crazy. So I do have one ally asset. This would give me plus one influence, and that's insane. My influence, though, as you can see, is already super powerful. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's really high. I don't see any reason to add this uh, to make myself any stronger in that category. So I am going to go ahead and choose that fighter one. It was too good off the top, and I like it too, too much. So I'm going to stick with this one, and it's going to become my third ability. Now, the other fun part about this whole situation is I'm running out of space, but not really. I'll just shuffle these cards down the row, and we'll make some more space. All right, so we're up. Now we've got our first, second, and third abilities in play. Everything's ready to go. There's only one other thing I wanted to mention. That's when we got the Balance Bow. In the last video, we received a Balance Bow for, I believe, beating a Forge card. And, it, and we gain this as a trophy. Now, when you gain something as a trophy, you can either put... Uh, you can essentially put this card into play immediately as an asset, or you can discard it for its gold value. And I can tell you right now, being that we already have a Dwarven Axe in play, I'd rather discard this and get its gold value. It is four, and I would love to have that much gold. So I am going to actually discard this card at this point to obtain four gold instead. I had mistakenly put it in my hand as a rumor, and that's not how you play those trophy cards when they're gained. So... At this point, I have quite a bit of gold. I'm up to seven gold total. We are ready to start uh, the next day. And I don't believe... Uh, oh, no, there is one other thing, guys. One other thing. And this one's kind of tricky. Uh, you can see here in the freezing snow, it's a weather card. And it also says, place one obstacle at each location for each quest it has. Now, I interpreted quest as being anything to mention quest. That's actually not correct. And really, what it meant was... A specifically a quest card. You'll notice down here, this says place. You'll notice right here, this says quest. 
So in the bottom portion of that card on the left, it'll tell you what type of card it is. And it's pretty straightforward, the keywords there, but where I got a little confused, and this is correct, so we put this obstacle on for that weather effect as well as up here for this quest card. But then I put quest uh, or obstacle tokens on the plot cards up here. That actually doesn't apply. And the reason is, is because you'll notice these are keyword quests. And even though the keywords are still on these quest cards, as confusing as that is, these, plot, these are plot cards, they're not considered quest cards. So these obstacles do not show up on plot cards. Uh, so that's where I got a little confused. I thought, hey, everything with a quest keyword needs to have an obstacle or a, a throne on it, but it's actually any quest cards that come out into play in the future and currently that were already on the map. So sorry about that. It took quite a bit of time there to, to kind of get all that uh, set in stone. So we're ready to go. We're ready to wake Vognus up and ready to get to action. Now, we want to remember in chapter four, we need to complete, uh, we need our five gold, which we know we have now, so there's no issues there. We also need the stranger, enemy, and shadow. Now, as of right now, we have no shadow. We do have a, I don't think we even have an enemy yet, and we need a stranger. We do have one straight stranger being that we have the cleric, so we're okay there. So we need to think about kind of what to do next as the most logical move. Um, now, <clears throat> what I could do is I could head into the Dark Mire here and try to get rid of this particular card. Uh, that might not be a bad situation or a bad uh, move. What about this up here? Is this an enemy card? It is. We should head up to the Wave of Doom and take him on. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a little bit of interesting movement here. Huh, what do we do? What do we do? Um, let's do... And my Dwarven Axe, if I'm going to end up using that against him... My Dwarven Axe here says to sacrifice to defeat an enemy at your location. That sounds great. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Uh, I don't have to worry about anything because... Oh, this is going to be perfect. I'm not going to go hidden. I'm going to spend my first AP and I'm use my Horse Rider. We're going to send Vognus into the Dark Mire. Now, before I do this, actually, there is a plot card here where there's no encounter card. So I'm going to have to pull an encounter card for this spot. So maybe going hidden is a wise decision just in case we run into something nasty. So we're moving into the Dark Mire. We're going to pull a Badlands card and see what we get. We got a quest. That's good because it's an assist in Badlands. We don't need any of those. You must find the child, Raphael, who has gone wandering off into the wilds again. Perfect. I'm okay with this. I'll leave this on the, the current card. But the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with this plot card right away because this plot card needs to get off this map. So... I am going to go ahead and look at the def to defeat option here. It says all heroes must lose one AP. And sorry, I didn't put a hidden token on my character. I should do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and it says lose an AP. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an AP to discard. And by doing so, I defeat this plot. So we've taken away one of the plots from the ancient one. Awesome. We also get to go to the loot bag as it denotes there in the right uh, with that little loot box or barrel uh, kind of trophy token. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a new token from the bag and see what we get. Hopefully we get something that's going to help us out. Nothing. Ah, worst. Okay. So that's about, uh, that sounds about right. So we've cleared that off. That's good. The next movement I'm going to do is I'm going to use an action to go through kind of a backdoor path here from the old wood all the way over to this old wood card in the back over here. Now, yes, there's the risk that I could pull another nasty card, but I want to get up top here and get that enemy that's over here. So we're going to head by using another AP, we're going to go kind of through the back door path all the way up to the old wood. And we're going to have to pull a card for that old wood up here. So let's go ahead to the forest deck and do a pull and see what we get. We got a place which is a respite and forest. It's called an isolated pedestal. Interesting. Whatever ancient god the pedestal was built to honor has been lost in the weave of time. Yet it stands to this day as a testament to the glory of ages past. Okay, and this could offer us a title as well as two gold, and we could uh, choose to keep or discard, all that good stuff. Uh, none of these keywords we currently need, so that's no good. Um, now, the shadow card, you'll notice that this shadow one here has a unique uh, identifier on it, so that's going to likely come from... Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I haven't memorized the cards yet, but my guess is that's going to be tied to uh, potentially something unique, and usually unique uh, things come from... Uh, allies or they can come from spells really from anything even weapons for instance so I'm not sure where the shadow is more likely to show up but it says that we should be able to find it more likely in a um, 
in a place type situation. A place should have it eventually, so hopefully we'll find one. Uh, but as of right now, this is not what we want, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but I'm happy to put that there so it causes no more encounters to be drawn there. So that's good, and we didn't have to deal with an enemy. So the next thing I'm going to do here is Vogmus is going to move one more time with another AP, and we are going to head into this area right here, and this is where things get fun. First off, I'm going to go ahead and defeat this plot card. So we're going to go ahead and uh, deal with the plot card. Now, if I'm not mistaken, actually what we'll do first, sorry, is we'll deal with the Wave of Doom first because that's the correct order uh, to do things when we move into an enemy. We're going to engage him. Uh, so let me just put this plot card underneath. But it's okay because Vognus is more than prepared to deal with the Wave of Doom, who's an enemy, and it's the keyword we need. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually use this right here it's a deed it says sacrifice defeat an enemy at your location we're going to throw the dwarven axe right at him and we're going to use this dwarven axe in order to kill the wave of doom so we don't have to waste any time and by doing so we automatically gain this card so i can either take two gold or i can and or i can discard the card and go after an item i don't want to discard it i need to keep it so i'm going to take two gold and add this to my hand awesome so we've got two of the keywords we need now, and we gain two gold. So I'm going to grab two more gold. we got quite a bit of gold going on here now. It's quite the pile, which is good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this one right here, and it says, uh, let's deal with this plot while we're here. Uh, this plot card says, all heroes must lose one HP in order to clear the roaches of penis. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. I'm going to discard one HP. Uh, now, if you're discarding one HP, you typically have to do it from one that has an AP as well. So uh, so this is going to get here. Now, this is where things get a little bit dicey, and I just totally mashed everything here. Um, but uh, some may argue with me that it's possible, and I might agree with you, that you actually just legitimately lose one HP. But based on kind of how engagements work when you're fighting somebody, you typically lose an AP as well. So that's going to be left up to debate. I might need to clear that up in the next episode just in case there's a difference between losing an HP outside of battle versus losing an HP in battle. But for now, just to play it safe, I'm going to lose an AP and we'll figure it out in the next one if that is, in case, uh, in, uh, of course, the correct thing to do. But what we did was we were able to complete the Roaches of Penis uh, quest. And because of that, we can grab ourselves a loot card and the Ancient is that much less powerful for us to deal with at the end of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and here, go into our token bag and see if we can pull something even more useful than last time. Oh, we found a map, nice. What does this let us do? Let's, oh, okay, well, if I can hold on to it, that'd be good. Uh, this map token is relocate to any planes location. Oh, that's really cool. That could come in really handy. Awesome. So we're going to hold on to that for sure. Any planes location. That's great. Okay. That'll give us some serious movement. That's awesome. Okay. So happy with that. Um, we didn't need any more gold, so I'm glad we didn't pull another gold. Uh, we have two more AP to go. So the question becomes, uh, what do we do next? Now, we just took the plot card off of the dead swamp, so we don't want to land or end or turn in the dead swamp. As you can see, it's gone into gloom, so that would be bad. Uh, most of, we only have one more plot card in play that's going to mess with us, and we're still looking for what appears to be a shadow keyword, and we can find those only in wood-type locations. So I could head to the hidden woods and see if I get something that I need there. I don't know if it's worth the risk. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. It does say that it's green, so I mean the chits are higher that you'll find it there. So I'm going to head to the Hidden Woods and we're going to pull another forest card and we're going to hope we can pull something with the shadow. We pulled a Stranger Villain Forest. Okay, so it's a Stranger card. Interesting. So we can uh, choose if we want to encounter this Stranger. Uh, and uh, the weakness is potion. Do I have a potion? I do not have a potion, so I can't not just overcome and beat her automatically. But we do have this character at the location. Interesting. Okay, well, not exactly what we were looking for, though, so that's not going to help us all too much. At least it wasn't an enemy, so we're not forced to engage. Uh, we may need her at some point in order to help us out. We have one more AP to spend. Where do we go? Where do we go? Um, let me think about this. 
Oh, and by the way, guys, I just recognized something. The rescue here has a quest keyword. This is a legitimate quest card. After all that talk about obstacles, there you go. That obstacle is supposed to come into play because any quest cards right now that come into play are dealing with the freezing snow. What do I do with my last AP, guys? I know you can't, uh, you can't really chime in right now, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'll do the right move here, but there's only one more thing I can do. I could potentially move to one of either the, I could move back to the plains location I could move both of these are in gloom which is bad the, the Boromar and the uh, dead swamp so neither of those are happy places and even the open heath is bad technically there's no damage to be found in the hidden woods so that's a plus um what else can I do hmm one more, I need to find a shadow card. That's gonna be my biggest, biggest thing that I need to focus on in the next round is finding a shadow card. <sighs> Let me see, what do I do? I could make an account, I could, oh, that would be tough. I don't want to, I don't wanna go after the gypsy because if I do so, it could. she could turn into an enemy and I just have no reason to get to gain her right now. I don't need her as a card, so it doesn't make any sense for me to encounter her currently. Um, I could risk it with all the healing that I have, uh, or the healing that I have, and be able to just jump to a location to see if I can pull something useful. Uh, I don't know though, if I run into an enemy I could really cause myself some grief. Um, so, I think at this point it may be worth it to... Hmm, if there was no encounters there I could have rested, that would have been great. Um, I think I've run into a wall. What shall I do? There's not too many options. Okay, let's have Vognus. Do I head out? I guess if I head this way, I don't have to worry about any encounters hitting me, and, and then I'm not wasting a turn. Next turn, I'll be able to maybe head over here and defeat this and keep searching the green area. I'd rather not, I'd rather try to get rid of this card in the future than this one because this can turn into a villain if I'm in, unsuccessful, whereas this one is just a place and I can keep going until I encounter it. So I'm going to use my other action to run back to the open heath. Yes, I'll take one hit for Doom, which is bad, but I'll suck that up. So I'm using my last AP there to move uh, to that particular location. So we are now done all of Vognus' turns. He did pretty good there. Cleared two plot cards, got all the way around the map, uh, blew away uh, an evil uh, individual up top. That was great. Uh, we threw the door of an axe at him. Everything kind of panned out pretty good there. Not too bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and lose one HP at this point for being on a gloom location. That's kind of sad. Um, and we have, uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. We are moving into the darkness phase. So we're going to go ahead and re resolve a darkness card. So we're taking a three dice. We're going to flip this one up to six now. So now we've got a total of 18 cards or night cards in play once we flip this particular card. But things are getting, or they're mounting slowly. Uh, here we go, Demonic Rite. Ew. This says discard a place from play. Mysterious cultists worshiping foul gods are continuing their uh, forbidden practices undisturbed. Lonely Gorge turns to gloom. Ah, no good. Well, at least we already got in the... So that's this place right here where we found our Dwarven Axe has now fallen into gloom as one of the many places falling to the abyss of penance. And we're going to go ahead and flip that like so. And we're going to take this card here. And it just is an event card, so it's going to happen and be discarded. So we're going to we're allowed to discard a place from play, and we can choose whichever place we want. So we have one place here. We also have a place up here. I want to keep this one. This is a. Oh, let me think. Actually, I could discard this one from play. Let's discard this one for play, so I don't have to waste my time with it next turn. I don't mind this one. This is an easy check to beat. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard this one. Um, yes. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to discard this one from play. And now this event as well goes with it. Okay, so now we are all squared away and we're ready to go through discarding encounter successes, which we don't have any currently. We're going to go ahead and become unhidden. So our unhidden token is now gone. We didn't run into any enemies. Uh, defeated hero regains 2 HP. We are not defeated. Unveil all skill cards. So everything's coming back that we didn't use, including our horse rider uh, regaining his strength as Vognus sleeps through the night. And um, let me see here, what else? We are breaking camp now, so we're beginning the next day. Now the one thing we don't want to forget, it says when the night phase ends, heal one HP. So we get one of the two HPs we lost last round back. 
and we're gonna go ahead and get all of our AP back. So, at this very point, we're ready to move into the next day of our adventure as Vognus is just one HP short of full health. But for the amount of things he was able to clear and successfully tackle in the last, uh, in this particular episode, it was actually pretty impressive. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that turn actually in that particular day. It was pretty, um, it was very successful all the way around. And we've also got a mountain of gold here, which we may want to think about uh, going to the market. We are within reach of Sprawl City, and that's some place we could potentially think about going there in the next day. So what I want you guys to do is with this in mind, in terms of what I have in front of me here, these are the AP. We have a currently six ready to rock. We have nine gold, which is quite a bit of gold. We have three assets in play in our uh, in our play area. We also have five cards. Two cards of the three, the Wave of Doom and the Cleric, are two of the keywords we need to satisfy the next chapter four. Uh, we only still need to find this shadow with the asterisk. So how about this, guys? This is the player mat. I want you to take a quick look at it. I also want you in the comments below to let me know where best should I go in order to find this shadow keyword? For those of you who've played this already, or for those of you who may want to give me a nice little hint, what should I be focusing on? Do we have to find things like titles, maybe? Maybe they're hiding in a title, or maybe it's part of a spell or item or ally where this particular uh, unique keyword is being hidden. Because it's a unique one, I really don't know how, uh, how often they will pop up, and it's something that maybe you guys can give me a heads up on. I really appreciate it then, like I said before at the beginning of the video, I really appreciate all the comments and feedback. I think you guys are great. And never think for one second that the comments I think that are coming in on this video are uh, negative or I take them in a bad way. I actually appreciate everything because this game does have a lot of nuances and when you're playing this thing on camera, live with no cuts, no editing, uh, it's very, very easy to just miss a small thing. And that small thing has ripple effects, but I think we're doing a really good job of going through it at a day-by-day -day pace, sometimes two days if we can pack it in, and also uh, correcting mistakes so that anyone coming through this playthrough in the future will not, if they happen to see something, they can always take a look in the comments to see whether or not, um, in the pin comment that I'm always leaving, based on your guys' comments, I put a pin comment up that they can read and ensure that they play the game correctly. And that's the real, that's really the most important part of the whole situation. So, Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. If you are, like I said, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you want to see more of Killforth. And let me also, let Vognus know that you've got some support. He's got support behind him because with all the trouble he ran into in the first few episodes, things have been getting better and he's being much more productive per day. Uh, and I really do think that this is going to end in an epic conclusion that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and keep on rolling solo.